Welcome everyone. So today we are going to learn about Bende dots and these are used in some pop art mainly by Roy Lichtenstein um, and he used them to um, allow him a another uh, almost double his colors. So we notice he only uses black, white, blue, yellow, and red. So the primary colors plus black and white. But by using the dots, he allows himself to have another three colors. So we can see the difference here between red and the red that are in the fingers. Um, and you'll see in some of his other works that I'll show in class um, that when you have a blue and you use the blue dots like are, that are used here, um, it gives you a large contrast. So it allowed him to um, use just the primary, but primary plus um, three more, um, even though they're the same colors, it's a totally different look. So today we are going to focus on how to add Bende dots. So here I have a example of um, the eight colors that you're gonna be able to use on your picture. Okay, so we know that there's only really five colors, but having solid red and red dots um, give you, um, these are different, even though they're the same color, how we put them on makes a big difference. Okay. I also have varying sizes of dots. You can go a little bit smaller than this, but I wouldn't go uh, too much smaller and I wouldn't go much larger than this. Okay. So keep that in mind. Can you do black dots? Um, I would like to keep it just um, with the um, primary colors being the dots. So if you do black, it's got to be solid and just any area that you leave white, it could be one of your backgrounds or it could just be the all the way background um, on your picture. So just keep that in mind. I like to use a ruler when I uh, make the dots and I'll explain why um, in a little bit here. But um, when we look at these, the spacing in between your dots should be a little less than another dot in between them, okay? And you'll notice that when you do it right, it looks like there's a row going diagonal this way. It looks like there's a row going straight down this way, and then also diagonals going the other way when you do it right. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So the ruler is just a way of getting my eyes to kind of keep everything in a straight line. So I'm not really gonna touch the ruler, um, what I'm gonna do is start out with the first dot. Okay, so that dot is basically how every single dot needs to be from here on after with this color in that section. Okay, and so I said almost a dot in between. Okay, and I'm keeping, and these are really big dots, okay, but I wanted to make sure that you could see. So I am making that circle and then as I'm um, going around in a circle, I'm filling that in. And constantly looking at my ruler and at the other dots to make sure that I am doing it um, in a straight line. All right, now we move the ruler over a little bit. And the key here about uh, Bende dots is that where I have two dots in the this row, my dot in the next row is gonna go in between these two dots, okay? So now I keep about the same amount of space and I'm going to go in between the two dots to the left. And when you do this the right way, you will have that look of everything going in diagonals, all different directions, they'll line up in rows, okay? So I would just keep going with that same process of in between the two, now I put one in between there. So this is how you would do Bende dots. If you're using a ruler, you never wanna 
I wouldn't want to do this row like this because now I can't see those dots. So I would turn my whole paper if I want to go the other direction. Again, using the ruler just to kind of help me keep a straight line. If it's not helpful, you don't have to use it, but you do want to have a straight line when making the dots. Okay, so when you do it right, you'll see they go in rows that way, this way, and also other directions. Okay, so that's my little demonstration. Now, in the next video, I will talk about adding color to our can picture. So watch that next.